Okay, since the first day I started the site, I've been promising that I had a method to surf uh, via edge up to five times faster, and here it is. Here's the secret. To get the internet to go really fast with edge, and you can see I have a little E there, you have to use a proxy server. And the best proxy server in the world is provided by Google. And the way you get to it, it's pretty simple. Basically, you tap on here and enter a web address. And you want to go to uh, www.google.com slash m. M is for mobile. You go there, and I think you'll see this page loads pretty quickly. Remember, we're on the Edge network now. And this is a mini version of Google that's specifically designed for mobile phones. And it's, uh, it's phone aware, so it actually knows that we're on an iPhone right now. Here's the most important part. Go down to Settings, which is the third from the bottom there. And go into Settings. And you can adjust a few different settings, but the only one that really matters is Format Web Pages for Your Phone. You want to select... Uh, normally it'll be on off when you go there, but go to on. Mine's already set there, but go to on. So you want to select under format web pages for your phone, select on, and then type or push save at the bottom. Now, all of the searches that you do through here now will come back. For instance, we'll search for CNN. You could type CNN.com or CNN Money and it would come back with something specific. So we type in CNN, and then you'll see there's a bunch, I mean, it's just like a normal Google result, but let's say CNN Money. We'll just go there just to try it out. Click CNN Money, and we'll see how fast it is. Pretty fast. Now this is formatted for the iPhone, so it specifically is formatted for the width of the iPhone. The pictures, if there are any, are formatted to fit, fit on here. All of the links that are there, show up here. Any ads though are gone. Pretty much. There may be some text ads, but all the Java type ads are gone. So here we go. Bill Miller. I'm the happiest. I'm happier at market lows. So you push that story. You want to see that story. This will go through the Google proxy. You'll see it's just the full site. Bill Miller speaks. It's got his picture. I don't know who Bill Miller is. And um, let's let's try a site that's a little bit better. You can go all the way down to the bottom again. Now the the one bummer is that you have to go through Google to get to these sites. But there's a there's a trick around that too. Let's type in a site that we all know and love, iPhone P O V, and say uh, we could do dot com. What the heck? So you say iPhone P O V dot com. You see what kind of results are trends? Okay, the first. The first, the top result is iPhonePOV.com. Now this is what the site will look like, iPhonePOV.com, through the, the Google proxy. So it takes away all the layout stuff, but it still has the pictures. And there's, you can zoom, but you have to do it with the two finger method. You can't double tap. Double tapping won't really do anything for you. It'll just sort of... Um, so you can look at the whole site. You can go to any page. Same as with the normal iPhone, except that it's really fast. Remember, we're surfing with Edge here, so you can see how fast it is. Now, here's the thing. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you can see there's a little choice on all these pages. There's a little choice to view the HTML. So if you want to see the real site and not through the proxy, you push that, and it'll actually take you through to the real, the real Internet, as Steve Jobs would call it, instead of the kind of sort of feels like the Internet. And here you see iPhone POV, the real website, which is still downloading. It takes a while on Edge. But then you can, you know, have everything you want. Now the trick is, though, if you have pages that you go to regularly, let's say ESPN, CNN, iPhone POV, whatever, you download them once with this method, and then you can bookmark them. Oh, here's a little tip, too. Touch the top, and any web page will scroll all the way to the top. If you're all the way at the bottom, too, it'll do it. Watch. Touch up here, Ooh, scrolls to the top. So you can add a bookmark for this Google version of the website, and you can automatically go back to the Google version of the website. The only catch is if you erase your cookies and your cache, Google will forget that you told it to 
format the pages for your phone, so you'll have to change that setting again. So it's a tad inconvenient, but the savings in time when you're trying to surf via Edge is, is pretty awesome.